and protect their fellow troops. Some people who know, know personally what it means to serve this country honorably are coming right up. And we'll talk to them about Congressman Tim Walls as well as their, as his counterpart on the Republican race, retired Corporal J.D. Vance, and about a con congressional race that was ended over false claims of stolen valor, uh, valor excuse me, that of J.R. Majewski. Uh, let's take a look at their message for, our, for Americans. This is a trailer from Veterans for Trump about the film BFAF, Veterans for Trump, the movement. Watch. Among all other demographics in this country, it will be the veterans that can sway the vote. We're good leaders, we're good organizers. Our primary mission at Veterans for America First, our grassroots mission, is to get President Trump reelected for the third time. Donald Trump wins the presidency. And the black community, we loved him. President Trump has been fantastic to veterans across the nation. Sandy and Donna Fitzgerald, thank you very much. The 2020 election was stolen, and we all know it. Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States. America is failing under the Biden regime. A lot of the policies that come from the left just lead into lawlessness. An illegal immigrant charged with the murder of a 22-year-old Georgia nursing student, Lakin Riley. Crime continues to surge in big cities across the country. Inflation remains a near 40-year high. Woke stuff is like a religion. Biden proclaims Easter Sunday as Trans Day of Visibility. The leftists have nearly completely captured our classrooms, all of them. The careless and dangerous political agendas that aim to target and influence our kids needs to end. Fantastic. I would highly encourage you to go to the website for this film trailer, as well as you can take a look at their other films like Fall of Deceit and Border Invasion and American Crisis. The film we just showed you the trailer for is available for pre-order, however, uh, on streaming at F, excuse me, VFAF.us, VFAF.us. That would be the initials of Veterans for uh, America First. They're also offering this film for free screenings across America to help. President Donald Trump, all studio royalties are going to be donated to the Trump campaign and the group ads, uh, that's what they added. And I'd like to introduce our panel from the Veterans for Trump team. First, let's uh, welcome in jo Jeff Hoffman, Hoffman, excuse me. He is the National Operations Director for Veterans for Trump. You can find him on the social media platform X at VA Freedom Leader. I'd also like to introduce uh, Elizabeth Hel Hel Jellian, sorry if I'm, I mess it up. She is a supporter of veterans and the director of communications. She's on X at Elizabeth for NV. And we also are pleased to have with us attorney Jared Craig. He is the vice president of Veterans for Trump, and he can be found on X at Jared Craig, the letter 4GA. I appreciate you all being here. It's kind of tough when you think about how true brave soldiers sacrifice, and then you see. Tim Walz inflating his um, military service and, and getting by with it. In fact, he's quite profited it from it politically. Um, Jeff, I, I'll just let you start. I, I know everyone is talking about it right now, right? Walz is stolen va valor. Maybe some civilians don't really understand what a big deal with it, it, this is, but why is it so damning for Walz? Well, I, I would say that with him, uh, lying, uh, and, and let me say the Democrat Party has has a history of this. Um, I'm I'm getting reminders of John Kerry and uh, U.S. Senator uh, Blumenthal in, in uh, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. uh, so th this is what you get uh, with with this party, and uh, I will say that his actions uh, actually could lead to dishonorable uh, removal uh, from from military service. He he's lying about his record record. He's misrepresenting himself. Uh, that's like uh, going into a reception and wearing a Bronze Star medal and claiming that you were uh, on the front lines. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, 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 I've continuously seen um, Democrats criticize J.D. Vance, which is now uh, Donald Trump's vice presidential nominee, uh, and, and criticize his service in the military. Um, he, he, you know, he provides, though, still a stark contrast, I believe, to Walls in terms of honorable military service and humility. Um, let's take a look about what Walls had to say about carrying weapons of war, uh, weapons of war into war. Listen. 
Hope woke up like many of you did five weeks ago and dad said, Dad, you're the only person I know who's in elected office. You need to stop what's happening with this. I'll take my kick in the butt for the NRA. I spent 25 years in the Army, and I hunt. And I gave the money back, and I'll tell you what I have been doing. I've been voting for common sense legislation that protects the Second Amendment, but we can do background checks. We can do CDC research. We can make sure we don't have reciprocal carry among states, and we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are at. <laughs> Now, Vance did hit back against Walz's misleading insinuation that he carried weapons into a war zone. Listen. We shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war to be on America's streets. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war, given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq, and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. Now, J.D. Vance would go on to write in his best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy, or didn't go on to write, he, he previously wrote, um, that he, he admitted, you know, what his, the characterization of his uh, service, saying that he was lucky to escape any real fighting. He had a, num a number of memorable interactions with the Iraqi people and his uh, fellow troops. So I'll ask you, Craig, how do you think Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance, perhaps better represents the interests of military veterans? Well, if you I do. believe that the pick of J.D. Vance is more of a legitimate pick for VP, someone who actually can stand in the place of the president in the event something happened to President Trump. Whereas Waltz, uh, I don't know if he would stand up uh, to anyone. Uh, it's, I believe, night and day between the qualifications of J.D. Vance and Waltz, uh, where J.D. Vance actually was overseas serving his country, and regardless of his position, I believe that he was uh, in a combat zone. Uh, I, I couldn't help but notice that it appears J.R. Majewski is also in your new documentary, correct? And he was the one who was accused of stolen valor. He has been cleared. His name has been cleared. And yet the Kamala Harris campaign still hit out at, at him. Um, Elizabeth, you're, you're, the communica you're heading up communications. That seems like a real communications failure. And this is really <laughs> causing them quite a bit of backlash. I saw the comments on social media yesterday and people were, were very upset about this. Absolutely. It's, it's insane what they're even trying to do, what he is trying to do. You know, you have J.R. Majewski who uh, did serve. Uh, you have our um, vice president, Jill nominee, uh, J.D. Vance, who has served. You have veterans across this country who have truly, you know, sacrificed so much. And then you have somebody who wants to come in and promote a stolen valor really is is what he's doing and we we can't be be doing that anymore so it's great for um president trump um jd vance and of course a jr he just did a video too on social media he, they're getting hit very hard by we the people it's absolutely not okay to be lying about your military service you know one thing i've noticed and i live in an area where there's a lot of military because there's a certain um base somewhat, if you will, near me. And I have noticed that there, there's such a level of respect that I feel like that they try not to be overt about it, right? These current active duty members of the military, they try to keep it surface based because they respect the, the, the position of commander in chief. But I can tell a real difference when they talk about Donald Trump as compared to um, Joe Biden. Or, or any potential of Kamala Harris being a commander in chief. There's a whole different level of respect. How, how strong would you say, and I'll just let you know whoever answer, I'll open this up to the panel. Who, how strong do you think the support of Donald Trump is amongst active and former members of the military? Well, I'll, I'll actually talk about his record uh, when, when he was uh, president and all of what he did for the Veterans Administration. Uh, he he reformed uh, the the entire system. He he made healthcare uh, more accessible uh, for military veterans. You know we've seen a history and in, in patterns within the VA hospital system, especially those veterans who served in, in the Vietnam War. Uh, I call them the forgotten veterans, and and that's just sad. Uh, and and we have our president of, of Veterans for Trump, Veterans for America First, uh, Robert Cornicelli. Uh, he, alongside uh, this organization, he, he also has a recovery veteran uh, program uh, that, that he is uh, the president of. 
And, and that's really what this is about. People have served overseas. People have sacrificed. Mm -hmm. And they come home, and we need to, we need to take care of them. Uh, President okay. Trump uh, has, has looked at 100% disabled veterans and relieved them uh, of a lot of their uh, student loans and, and all the, the expenses that they don't need to worry about uh, when, when, when they come home and after have fought uh, for, for this country. And you see the direct opposite in somebody like the governor, Tim Walz. If he was a real leader, he wouldn't have let his city burn down. We all remember George Floyd. And, and frankly, I have uh, colleagues in Minneapolis, and his nickname used to be Fentanyl George. But you never see that in a, in a headline. And you don't see the background and the context of what BLM riots was. But everybody knows about J6. And, and so this is yeah. a completely divided country. Uh, and President Donald J. Trump, he will unify and he will bring back this country and, and, and he will bring back the success uh, that we saw when he was uh, first president starting in 2016. And you probably see where carbon numbers go up too. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What were you saying, Craig? I'm saying that the, the support of President Donald Trump is the reason this organization started from the get-go in 2015. And the purpose of our film is to show that the veterans and active duty military do strongly support the America First agenda. And that's our goal. Our goal is to promote the America First agenda, to mobilize the veterans, to get out and become active in your community, to join the political process, to get involved with the polls at any level, poll watching, poll managers, and to fight for what you fought for. And that's apparent when you speak to the veterans that they all majorly support president donald j trump yeah i look i'll, I'll tell you i said in so many off the record conversations with donald trump as a member of the white house press corps and i can't remember a single instance that i sat with him that he did not bring up the the troops the veterans the wounded warriors he would encounter at walter reed he, he you could tell that he would stay up at night thinking about them um, and he would often go to Walter Reed and he said, you know, some, some veterans or some wounded warriors, they're, they look physically perfect, but they're wounded. And he, those stories would sit with him. He, I, I know personally he cares very much for the troops. Elizabeth, tell me, uh, it sounds like you're doing screenings across the country. Where can people, what cities do you currently have some set up? And it sounds like you're open to people setting up screenings, correct? Absolutely. All over the country, if somebody wants to set up a screening, we would love for you to do that. Get the message out. All of our films really promote the America First agenda. With our veteran film, of course, we're just touching on our history of the FAF and what we can do uh, and what we you know, continually do, and that's get out and fight for this country and support uh, President Trump. And our veterans are, are the leaders in that. So we, if you can uh, come out and you can help support us by doing a screening in your town, we would love to do it. We do have some all over the country. I know Jeff has one set up there. We're setting up some here in Nevada as well. But anybody, if you're interested in setting up a screening, we would love for you to do that. And you can do that by going onto our website and contacting us at bfaf.us um, and just let us know and we'd love to help you get that going. Excellent, I, I love what you all are doing. Uh, telling stories is the way to really move people and, and this is an excellent strategy. Thank you. Thank you all so much for joining us. I, I'm just so happy, Jeff, Elizabeth, uh, Jared, to have you with us. And we'll, we'll talk about the film again later, I'm sure, as we have some news to report from some of the screenings that you have before the election. We'll definitely have you back to talk about how it's going. Thank you all. Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.